Welcome to the State Television Company Western Armenia broadcast for today. President Armenia Gabrahamian's speech at the 17th session of the Export Mechanisms on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the 22nd session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. The Karabakh Declaration contains elements that are far from the historical past. Gardman Shirvan Nahijevan. The Francophone Parliamentary Assembly adopted a resolution on the territorial integrity of the Armenians of Artsakh and Republic of Armenia. A protest has been started in Turkey against the suspension of the radio station broadcasting. Some of the power with women from Artsakh made traditional Zengal bread in Yerevan. Our representatives will participate in the U18 European Beach Volleyball Championship in Georgia. Research and consultations on constitution, laws, legislation, policies, judicial decisions and mechanisms which states rely on to achieve the objectives set out in the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples in application of Article 38 of the Mission Declaration. Good morning, Ms. President. Let me congratulate you on your election. For several decades, all of us have worked and dedicated our days and nights to ensure the United Nations to adopt the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People on September 14, 2007. With these words, Mr. President Armenak Abrahamian began his speech at the 17th session of the Export Mechanisms in Geneva on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. This date and this declaration were the foundation for a new attitude of the UN Member State towards Indigenous Peoples. Mr. President emphasized that Indigenous people have the right to their nationality and the land, territories and resources to which they traditionally belong. We hope that we could stop the destruction of genetic resources, discrimination, genocide, ethnic cleansing in this world that we all stand for, because we are here for it. And good example for that we can remember is Article 48, said the President. According to him, in this very place, just July, he condemned the siege of 120,000 indigenous Armenians by Baku Armed Forces and Baku's genocidal intent against the indigenous Armenian population of Artsakh. Then on September 29, 2023, almost two months after the complaint, to commit genocide became the crime of genocide, the result of which was ethnic cleansing of 120,000 native Armenians. The terrible genocide against Armenians in Western Armenia in 1894 and 1923. And despite that, the state which has violated the United Nations Charter and relevant conventions continues to be a member of this famous organization, added Mr. Armena Gabrahamian. He also emphasized that several requests were sent to the Secretary General and Special Reporters. I sent two reports, one was posted online, but no response. Therefore, I decided to apply to the court, in particular to the European Court of Human Rights, in order to achieve justice, noted the President, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian. Thus, Mr. President calls on the UN to condemn the crimes of genocide against indigenous people, take a severe attitude against terrorist states, establishing a special commission to consider a request by indigenous people to refer cases of such crimes to the International Court of Justice and to take immediate steps to hold Baku accountable for its genocidal aggression. Thus, all of you who are present here last year and were a direct witness of my protect and the ethnic cleansing of my population in Artsakh, which today has led to the systematic destruction of our entire century old heritage. In other words, the complete erasure of all traces of the existence of the Armenian population from their lands, emphasized Mr. Armenia Gabrahamian. Despite all this, he mentioned again determination. The terrible archer site committed by Bagu against the indigenous Armenians living in Artsakh at the cleansing usurpation of lands, territories and resources will not deny the right of Armenians to live peacefully and freely in their homeland, to practice their faith, follow their customs and speak their mother tongue. On in July, the 22nd session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, gave an opening speech. Greeting the attendees, she referred to the 17th session of the United Nations dedicated to the export mechanisms on the rights of indigenous peoples. Ms. Lydia Margosyan and the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia, led by the President Armena Gabrahamian, took part in that session. Ms. President gave an importance to President Armena Gabrahamian's speech at the UN, where Mr. President highlighted the fact that all the speeches they made received a wide response from the UN member states and from Baku delegation.
She also reminded that President Armena Gabrahamian was the first to open the doors of the UN for us in order to represent our rights as indigenous people. President Armena Gabrahamian continued the session who spoke about their participation in the WIPO meeting to be held on July 11, during which the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia will present their roadmap of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia. President Armena Gabrahamian reminded us that the Vartavar holiday as it is organized in Eastern Armenia does not correspond to our national tradition. Water does not exist for ancient Armenia to water or sprinkle. Water is a genetic resource for life and cannot be used in any useless way. Water is also a substance that has special properties. Here we clearly see the falsification of our traditional knowledge and above all, the lack of respect to water poor populations. We are very far from the values of heights from huge sense, which in no way correspond to our old traditions and our traditional knowledge. Ministers and members of the government gave speeches during the session as well. A number of issues on the agenda were also discussed. On 6 July, the unofficial summit of the Turkic state organization adopted the so-called Karabakh Declaration. However, starting from its confusing preface, it contains a distortion of historical realities and obvious elements of one-sided assessment and evaluation of current developments. This is reported by the Pan-Armenian Union, Karman Shirwan Nahijevan. Turkey countries stand in solidarity with the government and people of Baku to rebuild and restore the lands from occupation, including large-scale efforts on demining and humanitarian demining. Therefore, conditions will be formulated for the return of hundreds of thousands former forced Azerbaijan settlers. All the states that signed the declaration with such broad aspect of solidarity express solidarity on behalf of their peoples with the multiple ethnic cleansing of Armenians throughout history in 1920, 1989, and 2020. The Union stresses that while showing concern about the return of former first settlers of Baku, why do the leaders of the Turkic countries forget the ethnic cleansing that took place in Artsakh just months ago? After the war in 2020, about 120,000 Armenians in Artsakh became refugees, having the full opportunity provided by international law to realize the right of return, but facing Baku's denial. It seems that the Baku regime did not create a humanitarian disaster in Artsakh by blocking the Lachin corridor for 10 months with the unconditional support of the same Turkic countries, with the result of starvation and systematic violations of human rights in general. However, the above-mentioned concern with humanitarian issues, Baku regime is not only used to targeting the civilian population in war situations. They are remind in 1988 Sumgait, 1990 Baku, 1992 Maraga pogroms and massacres, the destruction of Armenian and Armenian villages and the systematic depopulation of historical guardman Sherwan Nahijevan are proof that Baku has been an endless war with Armenians as a collective phenomenon for more than a century. The Pan-Armenian Union Guardman Shirvan Nahijevan strongly criticized the formation of such declaratory threats at the initiative of Baku, which reminds of the ideology of Pan-Turkism that experienced its failure in the last century. And the countries that are party to the declaration are called not to become a participant in Baku's adventure and to rely on the legal norms and principles of international law in directions. The Francophone Parliamentary Assembly adopted the resolution regarding the territorial integrity of the Armenians of Artsakh and the Republic of Eastern Armenia. In the resolution, it is condemned Baku's military invasion of Artsakh in September 2023, the ethnic cleansing of the Armenian population of the region, the destruction of Armenian culture and religious heritage, and also expressed this support for the independence and sovereignty of Eastern Armenia. Considering Baku's attack on September 19, 2023 in Artsakh, the forced displacement of more than 120,000 Armenians and Baku's ongoing violations of the territorial integrity of Eastern Armenia. The Francophone Parliamentary Assembly calls to respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Eastern Armenia within its borders strongly condemns and express support for the independence and sovereignty of Eastern Armenia. A protest has been started against the decision to suspend the license of ASIC radio broadcasting from Istanbul. This is reported by Ermeni Haber. It should be reminded that it was suspended by the Higher Council of Radio and Television of Turkey on the basis of publishing the term genocide committed against Armenians. The activity of the radio company was stopped for five days. A number of columnists, journalists and politicians expressed their protest against this decision. It is said in the text of the protest, ASIC radio is a radio channel that has 
uh, celebrated its openness to the expression of our effort. The decision to stop broadcasting the radio is not an acceptable option and clearly contradicts the freedom of speech guaranteed by the treaty. They demand that this decision be cancelled immediately. It was also emphasized that the licensed, deprived radio channel has provided high-quality broadcasting for years. The head of the International Development Agency of the United States of America, Samantha Power, in Yerevan met Jane Galbraith with women from Artsakh. According to Armen Press, the women from Artsakh introduced her to the preparation of Jane Galbraith, and they introduced that it is made of 14 types of greens. Samantha Power personally prepared the traditional Artsakh Jengel bread. Then Power personally prepared the traditional Artsakh Jengel bread. Samantha Power also met and talked with people displaced from Artsakh after making bread with Jengel. The U18 Boys and Girls Beach Volleyball team of Eastern Armenia left for Georgia to participate in the U18 European Beach Volleyball Championship. The information is provided by the Volleyball Federation. Our collective teams will compete in the qualifying round tomorrow, and if they pass, they will join the ground of common participating team, says the message. The girls national team will compete with the national teams of Romania and the Faroe Islands and Baku, and the boys team with the national teams of Andorra and the Faroe Islands in the qualifying round. This was all for today. Goodbye.